there are some people that make the comment that this generation, Generation Z, is only interested in turn up rap music. They only like the rap music that's either turn up party or gangster shoot 'em up type rap music. These individuals that make this comment, they also say that this generation is not into socially conscious or black power rap music. They're only into the turn up or the gangster rap or the trap rap music. Is this correct? Do you agree with this statement or do you disagree? Partially, I agree because it depends on your upbringing. Like if you grew up in a household with parents that teach you about the uh, black power movement and teach you about um, the struggles of African American people in this country, you're going to be walking around with a certain knowledge of self. So your taste of music is going to be different. So if you grew up in a household with parents who don't really care, then you're going to be listening to, you know what I'm saying, trap music. But it's all about your upbringing. So I kind of agree with it, but it's not the whole generation we're not all like that is there balance where there's a population within your generation that's interested in trap music but do you also see a balance where there's a population of young people who are around your age teenagers this is 2016 who are teenagers who are also interested in the black power socially conscious rap music do you see that balance somewhat okay because there's a group of people that I like are really interested in Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole and Wale and Killer Mike, those type of rappers. And they don't really like Chief Keef and all these type of turn up artists because, like what I said before, their upbringing. That's the main key to the whole topic. If you grew up in a household with parents who teach you about your ancestors and how you were great people, then you're going to carry yourself a certain way. So if you hear rappers talking about women, talk, calling them bees, you're not going to really like it because it's like, that's not what I am. That's not what my people are. I come from greats, you know, so I'm going to listen to music that reflects the true identity of my people. Do you think it's possible to increase the population of young people that like the black power, socially conscious rap music as opposed to the trap, gangster rap music? And if so, how can that be done? You can, and you got to get charismatic rappers that, or like J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. But the thing is, they aren't really like that aspect of their music isn't really being uh, shined. Like the light's not being shined on that aspect of their music for real because they're, the music industry is being, look for the word, it's being like, it's, it's, Majority is trap music, okay, and it's people that, like you know, Little Dirk and and Future. They like turn up all the time, and it's it's something that we we like. But the thing is, if you want to balance it out, you got to get artists that can turn up, and they could talk about the the um the Black Power thing. You know, you gotta you gotta balance it out. So you gotta have a rapper like Tupac. He could talk about turning up. And then he could talk about his people, keep your head up, Brenda's got a baby. So if you got a rapper like that, then it's like, okay, I could listen to his turn up music and I could listen to him talking about uh, political music. And, and it's going to be, it's going to, um, it's going to interest you because this is a rapper who's popular and he's talking about something I don't really hear about. So if you don't really hear about what he's saying, it's going to be like, okay, this is different. And he can make music about turning up. So he's not just a preacher. He's not just preaching to you all the time. Because we don't like hearing that either. You can't just preach to us all the time. That's going to turn us away. You got to you gotta be able to rap about going to parties, being with women, and then talking about, yeah, uh, the cops are shooting us down. We got to do this. We got to stand up for our people. So it's about the rapper and what they're able to bring to the table. So that's how you can balance it out. Okay. You had mentioned that they're not being promoted. They, being the socially conscious black power rappers, are not being promoted by the mainstream media and also by the industry. So my question for you is, what can the grassroots people in black communities do to embrace and promote rappers who are socially conscious and who are about black empowerment and black liberation? What can we do to encourage and promote those rappers and make them more uh, embraced by our community? Well... 
we just gotta play their music more. We gotta, you know, listen to them, listen to their message, and we gotta, you know, black radio stations have to play their music more because we can't go to our enemy to play our music. That's not gonna happen. That's like you making a song about your enemy and how you gonna beat them, and they're supposed, they're supposed to play it for you. It doesn't make any sense. You gotta play it in your own community. So you gotta get the masses of people in your community to play your music so that the the youth in the community will listen to it. Everyone's listening to the music. And I'm gonna say this, I'm going out on a limb, but my generation or followers, we go with the trend. So if we all start listening to this black power music, a f like a few people that's really popping, if they start listening to it, we're gonna all start listening to it. And then it's gonna really start making sense to us because we're gonna just listen to it because they listening to it. And then after that, we're gonna be like, okay, we like it. Cause you know, I can hear what they're saying. It's starting to make sense. We're seeing how we getting killed out in the streets. And it's like, okay, it's pitting one and two together. And then it's going, it's going to uh, create a spark. And then we're going to be revolutionaries again, like in the 90s. That's why they was like that in the 90s. Okay, with this work, if black communities went to these popular trap artists and put money behind them and said, okay, you could talk about the trap gangster stuff, but we want you to write some songs with some powerful messages in them that's, um, about black empowerment and black liberation. You think a strategy like that will work? That could work. Because that's what the white people are doing. They're going to these. They're going to the artists and paying them extra money to talk bad about the community. So, if it's working in that sense, we could pay them extra money to talk about the uh, uplifting of black people in the community. So I think it could work. But the thing is, people, the main like the uh, producers in the music industry right now, the black ones, they're puppets to racism, white supremacy. So if you can get someone who's really willing to go out for their people, then it could work. But, I mean, the likelihood of that happening is pretty low. Why is it low? Because we're being, we're puppets. There's no one who's gonna stand on our square. Everyone wants to just sit. You're, you're, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. Okay, we're being fed by these, by the uh, white supremacists. So, if we're being fed by them, you can't just go and be like, all right, now I'm about to, since you feeding me, I'm gonna go ahead and try to dismantle you. It doesn't work that way. Unless, I mean, the only way that could work is if you're willing to go out for your own people. And it doesn't matter. Because if that's the case, then you could do it. But most people, they, that's, that's where they're getting their food from. And that's like, uh, I'm not meaning that literally. I'm talking about that's where they're getting their money from. So they can feed their families. So if someone's willing to go out and say, you know what, I'm about to forget everything else. I'm doing this for my people. So it can live on. Then we can we can work. It'll work, but as of right now, it's not working. And you think that will require black people at the grassroots level to pull their money together, either put together a record label or put together a fund so they can fund these trap artists and even the black power artists so they can keep making um, positive music. Is that right? Yep.